Alright, welcome to the Intercalc for Revit tutorial library. The purpose of this series of videos is just to give our users a reference for a number of manageable, short, how-to style videos for specific tasks in Intercalc and Revit. In this first video, we'll just be looking at the installation process to get Intercalc for Revit installed and up and running on your machine. There's two parts to that process. The first part is to install the most recent version of Intercalc Build 20. The second part of that process is to install the appropriate Revit add-in for whichever version of Revit you'll be operating. So to start this process, you'll just double-click the executable file that comes with the installation download. That'll launch the installation process. You can tell it to run and then go ahead and proceed with the steps of the installer. The first part of this process is that you'll be prompted to go ahead and provide the product control code or PCC that came with your subscription or your trial version of the software. And you can provide that code just by pasting it in the box provided and then hitting the green check to validate it. Once the PCC has been validated, the installation will proceed with just a few quick approval steps and then the download will start. The download only takes a few seconds and sometimes it will require your machine to restart. Once the installation process is completed, you'll go ahead and go through an activation. To do that, you simply launch an instance of Intercalc Build 20 and paste the same product control code that you used earlier during installation. Uh, use the controls to validate, activate it, and then once the activation process is complete, you can go ahead and close the application. So once you've completely finished installing and activating Intercalc Build 20, the last step in the process is to go ahead and install the appropriate version of the Intercalc for Revit add-in based on whichever version of Revit you're going to be using. To do that, you're just going to double-click the executable file that came from the download, go through a couple quick approval steps, tell it to finish. Once it's finished, you can go ahead and launch an instance of the version of Revit you're going to be working in, open a file, and once you open that file, you'll see that your ribbon bar is available uh, with all these tools.